Welcome back. Today, join us in delving into Hollywood's hidden gems 20 forgotten actors with remarkable transformations. From familiar faces to the unexpected, their industry journeys have taken surprising turns. Let's uncover their stories and explore what they're up to now. Let the discovery begin. Ethan Embry, originally Ethan Philan Randall, born on June 13, 1978, in Huntington Beach, California, is a versatile actor renowned for his diverse roles in films and television. Rising to fame with memorable performances in movies such as Empire Records, Can't Hardly Wait, and That Thing You Do, Embry has garnered widespread recognition for his talent. His ability to seamlessly transition between genres, from comedy to drama, has earned him praise for his versatility and commitment to his craft. At 45 years old, Ethan Embry remains an active force in the entertainment industry, consistently taking on diverse roles and contributing to the art of storytelling on both the big and small screens. Matthew Lillard, born on January 24, 1967, in Lansing, Michigan, is an American actor, voice actor, and producer. He gained widespread recognition for his breakout role as Stu Mocker in the 1996 horror film Scream, which propelled him to fame. Lillard's dynamic and charismatic performances have earned him a dedicated fanbase and cemented his status as a versatile actor in both film and television. Throughout his career, Lillard has showcased his talent across various genres, including comedy, drama, and horror, demonstrating his versatility and range as an actor. Currently, Matthew Lillard is 54 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry, consistently delivering compelling performances and contributing to the success of various projects on both the big and small screens. Billy Baldwin, born on February 21, 1963, in Massapequa, New York, is a versatile American actor, producer, and writer hailing from the renowned Baldwin acting family, which includes Alec, Daniel, and Stephen Baldwin. Billy gained prominence through roles in films like Flatliners, Backdraft, and Sliver. His career spans film, television, and theater, demonstrating his acting prowess in diverse roles. Baldwin has earned critical acclaim for his performances, cultivating a dedicated fan following. Beyond acting, he has ventured into producing and writing, showcasing his multifaceted talents. At 61 years old, Billy Baldwin remains an active and influential figure in the entertainment industry, consistently contributing to the world of film and television with his expertise and enduring talent. Campbell Scott, born on July 19, 1961, in New York City, is an American actor, director, and producer. He is the son of legendary actor George C. Scott and actress Colleen Dewhurst. Scott gained widespread recognition for his role as Steve Dunn in the 1991 film singles and as Boris Kuster von Jurgen's Radonich in Dying Young, 1991. Throughout his career, Scott has appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatility and talent as an actor. He has received critical acclaim for his performances in both lead and supporting roles. Additionally, Scott has directed and produced several films, further establishing himself as a multifaceted talent in the entertainment industry. Now, Campbell Scott is 62 years old and continues to be an active presence in Hollywood, captivating audiences with his compelling performances and contributions to the world of cinema. Devon Sawa, the Canadian actor, born on September 7, 1978, in Vancouver, British Columbia, rose to prominence in the 1990s with memorable roles in iconic films such as Casper, 1995, and Now and Then, 1995, where he portrayed the titular character. Solidifying his status as a teen heartthrob, 
Sawa took on the role of Alex Browning in the horror film Final Destination, 2000, and its sequels. Throughout his career, he has showcased versatility by tackling various roles in both film and television, displaying his talent and range. While the intensity of his early fame may have tempered, Sawa, at 45 years old, continues to contribute steadily to the entertainment industry, captivating audiences with his performances on screen. Stacy Keach, an American actor, born on June 2, 1941, in Savannah, Georgia, gained fame for his versatile performances in both film and television. With a career spanning over six decades, Keach's breakout role came in the early 1970s when he portrayed private detective Mike Hammer in the television series Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer. Throughout his career, Keach has received critical acclaim for his roles in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his range and depth as an actor. He has earned several awards and nominations, including a Golden Globe Award for his portrayal of Ernest Hemingway in the television miniseries Hemingway, 1988. As of now, Stacy Keach is 82 years old, and his passion for acting continues unabated with ongoing projects that highlight his enduring talent and commitment to his craft. Thora Birch, an American actress, was born on March 11, 1982, in Los Angeles, California. She rose to prominence as a child actress, delivering memorable performances in films such as Hocus Pocus, 1993, and Now and Then, 1995. However, it was her role as Jane Burnham in the critically acclaimed film American Beauty, 1999, that solidified her status as a talented young star. Throughout her career, Birch has continued to impress audiences with her versatility and skill, appearing in a variety of films and television shows. Some of her notable achievements include receiving a BAFTA nomination for Best Actress in a Leading Role for her performance in American Beauty. Today, Thora Birch is 41 years old, and while she may not be as prolific in the industry as before, her contributions to cinema in her earlier years have left a lasting impact. Barbara Hershey, born Barbara Lynn Hurstein, is an American actress born on February 5, 1948, in Hollywood, California. She gained prominence in the film industry during the 1960s and 1970s with roles in movies like Last Summer, 1969, and Boxcar Bertha, 1972. Her breakout role came with the critically acclaimed film The Stuntman, 1980 for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Throughout her career, Hershey has showcased her talent in a wide range of genres, from dramas to thrillers. She has garnered numerous awards and nominations, including a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress for her role in A Killing in a Small Town, 1990. Now, Barbara Hershey is 76 years old, and she continues to contribute to the entertainment industry with her remarkable performances. Tom Skerritt, born Thomas Roy Skerritt, is an American actor known for his versatile performances in film and television. He was born on August 25, 1933, in Detroit, Michigan. Skerritt gained recognition for his roles in iconic films such as M.A.S.H., 1970, Alien, 1979, and Top Gun, 1986. Throughout his career, Skerritt has showcased his talent across various genres, portraying a wide range of characters with depth and authenticity. 
He has received critical acclaim and several award nominations for his performances, including a Primetime Emmy Award for his role in the television series Picket Fences, 1992-1996. Presently, Tom Skerritt is 90 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry, demonstrating his enduring talent and contributing to the success of numerous projects. Richard Grieco, the American actor and former model, recognized for portraying Dennis Booker in the TV series 21 Jump Street and its spin-off Booker, was born on March 23, 1965, in Watertown, New York. Rising to fame in the late 1980s and early 1990s, Grieco captured attention with his striking looks and charismatic on-screen presence. Initially known as a heartthrob, he has proven his versatility by taking on diverse roles across different genres. At 58 years old, Richard Grieco continues to navigate the entertainment industry, facing challenges with resilience. Despite fluctuations in his career, he remains active, contributing to both film and television projects and showcasing his enduring passion for the craft. Jo Beth Williams, an American actress known for her versatile performances in film, television, and theater, was born on December 6, 1948, in Houston, Texas. Williams gained widespread recognition for her role as Diane Freeling in the classic horror film Poltergeist, 1982, which catapulted her to fame. Throughout her career, Williams has showcased her talent across a wide range of roles, earning critical acclaim for her nuanced portrayals. She has appeared in numerous films, including The Big Chill, 1983, Kramer vs. Kramer, 1979, and Teachers, 1984, among others. In addition to her film work, Williams has also made significant contributions to television and theater, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Now, Jo Beth Williams is 75 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry captivating audiences with her talent and dedication to her craft. Lily Sobieski, an American actress known for her captivating performances in film and television, was born Lillian Rudabet Gloria Elsveta Sobieski on June 10, 1983, in New York City, USA. Sobieski gained widespread recognition at a young age for her role in the film Deep Impact, 1998, where she played the character Sarah Hotchner. Throughout her career, Sobieski has showcased her talent in a variety of genres, from drama to horror to historical epics. She has received critical acclaim for her performances in films like Eyes Wide Shut, 1999, and Joan of Arc, 2001. In addition to her film work, Sobieski has also appeared in several television series, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Presently, Lily Sobieski is 40 years old and continues to be admired for her talent and contributions to the entertainment industry. Valerie Perrine, an American actress and model who rose to fame in the 1970s, was born on September 3, 1943, in Galveston, Texas, USA. Perrine gained widespread recognition for her breakout role as Honey Bruce, the wife of comedian Lenny Bruce, in the biographical film Lenny, 1974, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in a Leading Role. Throughout her career, Perrine has appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. Some of her notable works include Superman, 1978, and its sequel Superman II, 1980, where she portrayed the character Eve Teschmacher. In addition to her acting career, 
Perrine has also worked as a model and appeared in several magazines and advertisements. As of now, Valerie Perrine is 80 years old, and her contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be remembered and celebrated. Alicia Silverstone, an American actress born on October 4, 1976, in San Francisco, California, gained widespread fame and acclaim for her role as Cher Horowitz in the hit teen comedy film Clueless, 1995. This film became a cultural phenomenon and solidified her as a prominent actress of the 1990s. Following her breakout role in Clueless, Silverstone continued to build her career in both film and television. She appeared in several successful movies such as Batman and Robin, 1997, and Blast from the Past, 1999, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Throughout her career, Silverstone has also been an advocate for animal rights and environmental causes, actively promoting veganism and sustainable living. Today, Alicia Silverstone is 47 years old, and despite her early fame, she has continued to work in the entertainment industry and remains a respected figure in Hollywood. Holly Shore, an American comedian, actor, and filmmaker, born on February 1, 1968, in Hollywood, California, rose to fame in the 1990s with his unique comedic style and iconic character, The Weasel. Shore's breakthrough came with his MTV show Totally Polly, which showcased his comedic talents and helped him gain a massive following among young audiences. Throughout the 1990s, Shore starred in several successful comedy films such as Encino Man, 1992, Son-in-Law, 1993, and Biodome, 1996, solidifying his status as a comedy icon. While his career experienced a decline in the 2000s, Shore continued to perform stand-up comedy and appeared in various film and television projects. He also launched a successful podcast called Polly Shore's Interested in 2020. Now, Polly Shore is 56 years old, and although he may not be as prominent as he once was, he remains a beloved figure in the comedy world. Sarah Michelle Gellar, an American actress and producer born on April 14, 1977, in New York City, USA, gained widespread recognition and fame for her role as the titular character in the television series Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which aired from 1997 to 2003. Gellar's portrayal of Buffy Summers earned her critical acclaim and established her as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Following the success of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Geller appeared in various films such as Cruel Intentions, 1999, I Know What You Did Last Summer, 1997, and The Grudge, 2004. She also ventured into producing with credits including the TV series Ringer, 2011-2012. Throughout her career, Geller has received numerous awards and nominations, including several Teen Choice Awards and a Daytime Emmy Award for her role in the soap opera All My Children. Currently, Sarah Michelle Gellar is 46 years old and continues to be involved in acting and producing projects. Tommy Rettig, an American child actor and musician born on December 10, 1941, in Jackson Heights, New York, USA, rose to fame for his role as Jeff Miller in the television series Lassie, which aired from 1954 to 1957. Rettig's portrayal of the young protagonist in the beloved show earned him widespread recognition and made him a household name during the 1950s. Following his success on Lassie, 
Reddig continued to act in various films and television shows, although he struggled to find roles that matched the popularity of his early work. He also pursued a career in music, releasing several albums as a singer-songwriter. Despite his talents and early success, Tommy Reddig faced personal challenges throughout his life, including struggles with addiction. He tragically passed away on February 15, 1996, at the age of 54, due to complications from heart surgery. Rettig's contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be remembered and celebrated by fans of classic television. Brian Keith, an American character actor born on February 20, 1945, in Redlands, California, rose to prominence for his intense and memorable performances in a wide range of film and television roles. Keith became known for portraying tough and often villainous characters, earning him a reputation as a versatile character actor. He appeared in numerous notable films, including Blade Runner, 1982, Tango and Cash, 1989, and The Fifth Element, 1997, among many others. Throughout his career, Keith demonstrated his talent for bringing depth and authenticity to his characters, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. His contributions to the entertainment industry were marked by his ability to embody a diverse array of roles with skill and conviction. Tragically, Brian Keith passed away on August 7, 1999, at the age of 54, due to a heart attack. Despite his untimely death, his impactful performances continue to be celebrated and remembered by fans of film and television. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content about the world of entertainment. See you next time on our channel.